Hello and welcome back. This is sort of part two. So we did a, a little bit on the Lamborghini Euros. And uh, this is part two where I said uh, we're going to carry on with the weekly challenge. And we'll talk a bit about that. And I also want to talk a bit about the YouTube. And I also want to talk a bit about DJ Motorsport as well. So uh, we're going to cover all that. Won't be a massive long video, I promise. Um, we'll try and keep it under 10 minutes. Hello and welcome back. So here we are, weekly challenges. We're in a Porsche. I know Porsche people are going to kill me yet again because um, I say I don't like them, and yet again we're in a Porsche. Uh, I've got no idea what this Porsche is either, um, but I have to say it is really, really lovely. It handles like a dream. Um, I just grabbed the first car that matched the PP, uh, so I have no idea if it's good choice, bad choice, whatever. But I will say I love the car. And uh, what I'm going to do in a second, when we go to the in-car, I'm going to whack the volume up, listen to this engine. It absolutely sounds like a dream. Um, so I have whacked, I do apologise, I've whacked the volume right up, just so we can hear. You, you hear the gear changes, you hear the down changes, and it is beautiful. Right, I'm going to shut up, listen to this. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, I found that by accident, to be fair, and uh, I would just come across it while I was doing the replay, and uh, thought that is absolutely amazing. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, like I did. Anyway, so back to this. So we're, we're, let's just encompass this. We're doing the weekly challenge. We did the two races in the Lamborghini, and we're now in this Porsche. I think we're at Trial Mountain, uh, and then we've got a VG, VGT race. Any VGT at um, where is it? can't think. Into Lagos, apologies. And then the final race I think is a group for Laguna Seca. As we all know, we know Laguna Seca, uh, nice track, um, just we're not very good at it. But anyway, there we go. So, and that will round off the weekly challenge, which again, absolutely amazing. You know, two races in this new Lamborghini that you wouldn't use. One race in whatever you like here, as long as you can match PP, uh, and then a group four at the end you couldn't want for a better mix of stuff and in a game that's three years old plus or whatever it is now um, we can't fault it you know all this is completely free and it's absolutely amazing that we're still getting content like this and all these people that moan we didn't get this track we don't get that track we don't get this car we don't get that car um, uh, let's look at what we did get uh, and that, that's, that's these new games and new cars so um, yeah we're not going to go on too much about that but there we are um, but anyway, what I also wanted to cover in this was uh, a little bit about the YouTube, a little bit about DG Municipal, and a bit about myself. So we've been going for quite a long time now. We did have another name originally when we started, um, but there's lots of reasons that changed, and we all know about that. Um, but we've been going quite a while now. This is just a hobby. It will always be a hobby. Um, I do really enjoy it. Last year we did have some very uh, difficult challenges, shall I say, and uh, I do get it. You know, the channel probably did suffer a bit and our quality of racing suffered a bit. We did manage to keep the club going. A lot of people don't know what went on last year, but there were lots of problems, uh, some personal problems as well. Um, but coming into 2024, a lot of that has been resolved and the channel now is doing better than it's ever done. We're just gonna flick over now to the VGTs, I believe, there you go. Um, yeah, the channel is doing better, as I say, it is purely a hobby, it's never here to make money or do anything like that, it's purely a hobby, and it's just sharing my thoughts about the game, and things that our DJ Motorsport do, um, and going into this year, like I say, we've, we've sort of revamped a lot, we've changed the format, so once you start watching the series, you'll get it, the format's the same in every one, I'm really enjoying that, it seems to be working. We're being more selective on our car choices, not just chucking any old car in. A lot, a lot of work goes in behind the scenes, testing, 
and whatnot, which people would never clue the amount of time that goes on behind the scenes. Um, I must thank Tepic, also known as Richard, um, and also on his job, as uh, they do do a lot of work behind the scenes that probably the Monday night people that do turn up don't realise how much work they do. Uh, and personally, Richard Tepic does a lot uh, as well. He actually uh, gets involved in uh, not just the practicing and testing, uh, but he gets uh, involved in a lot of the organising, a lot of the structure of it, uh, the points, stuff like that. We work things out. Uh, and race series and how all that's going to work. Um, he is the technical director of DJ Motorsport and it wouldn't function without him. So uh, I want a big thank you there, uh, Richard, for the time that he gives up, which is a lot. You wouldn't believe for a, for a little Monday night club, we give up a lot of time. With and I'd like to thank our families as well for the time that they put up with us, rammed on. You know, I'll suddenly mention to my wife that, oh, I've got a brilliant idea for a championship, and then I'll probably bore her for an hour telling her about it. So um, I want to want to put that out there. Big thank you to the families of Paul. Uh, anyway, back to DJ Motorsport. Um, I am loving it. Um, channel's growing and our quality has definitely improved which I hope you have seen and uh, if anyone has got any ideas then obviously we'll take them on board as well and as you can see sorry we've just slipped to the last week challenge which is uh, in the group four and of course we've got to use the jag we? but anyway um, now I just want to wrap this up now by saying that uh, a big thank you also to the people that turn up every Monday night and give up their time um, to either practice uh, and take part. They turn up week after week and none of this would happen without them. So a big thank you to them. Big thank you to anybody that watches a clip on YouTube and this is to any other YouTuber as well. Keep going, we've been doing this quite a long time now and uh, it is hard work, it takes a lot of time but I enjoy it, it's a hobby and uh, please hit those likes you don't know how much it means and makes a difference so even if you watch a two minute video just hit the like it really does help so anyway as we get to the final stages of this little group four and the end of the weekly challenges um, what i'm going to do is show you all the prizes we got i haven't fixed this it does depend on uh, what you what weekly challenge it is so um, some are better than others but um, yeah I'm just going to show you at the end what, what we received just for doing this and I would like to also point out that this took just over an hour so from start to finish to do the five weekly challenges it only took just over an hour so it's really not that much of a time drain on your time uh, I realise people have you know little or less amounts of time but uh, really it was just an hour. Right we're going to flip now to the end there we go so we completed our uh, reward there we got a six star roulette car ticket for completing the weekly challenge so that is nice to see and we're going to actually undo these online so uh, or live should I say so we also got a three star roulette ticket for, three in, for doing the mileage which you do in a day uh, and we also got a reward for completing I think that's halfway of the weekly challenge we've got £150,000 for that and then I think we've got a six star parts ticket um, so we're going to just claim all these now um, I know again people moan about this roulette wheel you know they should do away with it well yeah they could but then I wouldn't get anything would I so um, I don't care I've got a Renault McGann safety car there I'm sure I can put that to some use in one of our videos keep your eye out for that uh, later there you go and uh, what else have we got here so we're going to do the other one that might be uh, what's that three star ticket so uh, there's a car there bar and coins probably going to be low coins there we go um, but it was only a three star one after all And six star parts ticket, so this should be a good part. Um, not that we necessarily actually want it, um, but there you go.
And finally, we have our six star uh, car ticket. So we're definitely going to get one of these cars. Don't know which one. Uh, there we go. It looks like a Peugeot Group 1. Um, probably a car I'll never use. Whether I'll test it or not, I don't know. I may just sell it. But if I sell it and get half a million quid for it, it's half a million quid in the bank. So uh, there you go. Not too shabby, the rewards. And they are different each week, let me tell you. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now because I really didn't want to go on too long. Um, I hope you got the gist of it. Uh, and I just want to add on the end here, um, DJ Motorsport, what we're going to try and do this year, we've got, obviously, people will know from past how manufacturers we do is always big and popular. That will be coming. End of the year, we are going to do a Super Formula Championship, which uh, will be a team event. Um, teams are free, so that's going to be really good. And... Also, we're going to do some one-off events, but they're not going to be one-off events. They're going to be linked. So we're going to do the Le Mans. We're going to do Nürburgring. And we're going to do Daytona. Um, and they're going to be sort of a team event. And also points will be added. So um, keep your eye out for those special events. Um, but I'm going to go now. So once again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And hopefully, we'll see you in a new video very, very soon.